Caitlin Clark's rise in women's basketball has been anything but quiet. She has quickly become one of the most controversial figures in women's basketball. From the moment she stepped into the spotlight, she encountered hostility and criticism, not just from fans, but also from those within the sport, both current stars and former players. And this raises a critical question. Why is such an influential player receiving so much backlash? While you may not like Clark or her style of play, there's no denying the impact she's had on the game. Recognized as one of the WNBA's most impactful players, her contributions are significant, yet they seem to attract more hostility than praise. What makes a celebrated athlete the target of widespread hate? Stick around as we dive deep into this complex relationship between Clark and the world that can't seem to decide how to feel about her. From the very start of her WNBA career, Clark faced a challenging welcome. In her third game, she was unexpectedly hit by a heavy screen from Brianna Stewart that knocked her off her feet, symbolizing the tough road ahead. This physical play, combined with other rigorous defenses she has faced, created narratives suggesting a lack of acceptance by other WNBA players. And the situation escalated when Charles Barkley voiced his thoughts on national television during the NBA's Western Conference Finals, suggesting that other WNBA players were jealous of Clark. Barkley passionately defended Clark, pointing out the benefits she brought to the league. His words were clear. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dudes. Listen, what she's accomplished, give her her flowers. Stop being petty, all you women out there. She got y'all ass charters. She bringing all y'all this money to the table, but y'all being petty like dudes. However, several WNBA player stars quickly countered Barkley's claims. Shanae Ogumike took the X, emphasizing the league's support for the new talents. She wrote, Every WNBA player I know supports his rookie class and are grateful for the spotlight and money that Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and company are bringing to the W. Similarly, Jonquil Jones expressed confusion over the alleged widespread jealousy towards Clark. She also wrote, Interested to know who are all the women that are hating on CC. I'm seeing a lot of coverage about it, but I don't see the hate. I'm also not a big comment reader, so I might have missed it, further challenging Barkley's comments. Derricka Hamby voiced her concerns also on X, questioning Barkley's display of the situation, stating, Seriously, what the F are you talking about? And this collective defense raises a critical question. If there is truly no hate towards Clark, why was there such a strong need to publicly defend the league's atmosphere? But that's the Clark effect, unfolding right before our eyes. Clark has elevated the sport beyond its traditional boundaries, thanks in large part to her extraordinary shooting skills. Her ability to consistently hit long-distance shots far beyond the typical three-point line has not only excited fans, but also drawn comparisons to NBA superstar Steph Curry. Much like Curry, who revolutionized the NBA with his beyond-the-arc ability and led the Golden State Warriors to multiple championships, Clark's impact on women's college basketball has been transformative. Initially gaining recognition in her early college years, her popularity surged during her final seasons at Iowa, where she led her team to consecutive Final Four appearances in two national championship games. Alongside Angel Reese and the powerhouse South Carolina team, Clark has helped propel women's college basketball to unprecedented heights of popularity. But it's not just Clark's shooting that has captivated fans. Her bold, unapologetic attitude on the court also plays a huge part. She quickly learned the art of showmanship and understood that her flair resonated well with audiences. Her ability to sink near half-court shots was impressive on its own, but it was her bravado that truly magnified her appeal, making her arguably the most popular player in all of college basketball, not just among women. This magnetic appeal led to consistently sold-out arenas throughout her senior year, leading to the most-watched national championship game ever, which attracted nearly 20 million viewers. Her record break in performances didn't stop there though. They extended into her professional career. The WNBA draft that saw her get picked set a viewership record with 2.45 million tuning in, and her debut game drew an audience of 2.12 million. Clearly, she had become a major draw. Her games, a must-watch event. However, despite her massive appeal, success, and the anticipation surrounding her entry into the WNBA, her transition to the professional league has been met with harsh reality. She has been receiving a harsh introduction to the WNBA, facing a level of physicality and a welcome that can only be described as a rude awakening. And this narrative around her continues to escalate led by incidents like the shove from Kennedy Carter. Carter blindsided Clark with a forceful hip check during a pause in play, knocking her to the ground, an act captured and widely viewed due to its aggressiveness. There's no defending this. Regardless of any provocation or previous interaction in the game, such actions are wholly unjustified and only serve to deepen the controversy surrounding Clark's treatment in the WNBA. This incident adds substantial weight 
to the claims that some WNBA players are targeting her, increasingly dividing opinions among fans and media. This incident didn't just stay within the confines of the basketball community, it sparked widespread debate across national TV and social media, spreading like wildfire influencing public perception. And as these stories multiply, they paint a picture of Clark as a target of undue aggression from her peers, contributing to her challenges in adapting to the professional level. But it's important to note that the WNBA is known for his physicality. While the NBA has seen a decrease in physical play over the years, the WNBA has maintained or even increased its level of physical contact, a fact that may surprise fans more familiar with the men's game. Even the WNBA itself has highlighted this aspect of the game in a commercial promoting the season, showcasing the league's rough play and trash-talking culture. But despite this, Clark has rapidly become the face of the WNBA. Whether she's lighting up the scoreboard with over 20 points or facing challenges like turning the ball over 10 times. Regardless of her encore performance, Clark's presence has significantly boosted attendance at arenas and viewership of the WNBA games. Since its establishment in 1997, the WNBA has enjoyed steady growth, but the excitement surrounding Clark has brought a remarkable level of attention. Her participation in the national championship game against South Carolina attracted nearly 19 million viewers, making it the most watched women's sports event in history. While the league overall doesn't yet see such high viewership numbers regularly, her games have consistently drawn over a million viewers, a milestone that WNBA hadn't achieved in over a decade before she joined the Indiana Fever. This spotlight on Clark, in contrast to the broader league, has naturally created some tensions within the WNBA. So, are the claims true that other players are envious of Clark? It seems probable that at least some are. The backlash against her isn't so much about her skills or performance on the court. Rather, it comes from the level of attention she gets. Despite not necessarily being the best player in the women's basketball, she has become one of the sport's most prominent figures. Her rise to stardom has brought intense media focus and significant endorsement deals. And this level of success has created feelings of resentment among some of the longtime WNBA fans and her peers. They feel that the spotlight and accolades CC receives are exceeding her achievements in the league, leading to a sense of injustice that she is receiving more recognition than they believe she deserves. However, jealousy and envy are part of human nature, existing long before structured beliefs of religion. Okay, let's consider our personal experiences for the moment. Isn't there a time when we felt the touch of jealousy? Perhaps it was towards a co-worker who landed a promotion you believed was yours, or maybe over someone's car, or maybe just on anything really. We've all experienced moments where we've envied others in some way. Oh, okay, where were we? Given this universal aspect of human behavior, it's reasonable to assume that some players in the WNBA might feel jealous of Clark. Well, let's see. They could envy her widespread fame, the accolades she receives, the lucrative endorsement deals, or the substantial earnings she has achieved. To suggest that not a single player has ever felt a hint of jealousy or resentment towards her would likely be an oversight. Charles Barkley was right when he said that she has restored interest in women's basketball across America. She has attracted more attention to the sport than any other player before her, significantly boosting both awareness and revenue. Her impact is so deep that it's enhancing the livelihoods of her fellow players. With this in mind, it's time for her peers to move past any touch of hate. Naturally, as a standout player, Clark faces intense competition on the court every night. She has been greeted in the league with tough, aggressive defense, leading to an increase in turnovers, a challenge she didn't often face during her stellar college career. And while fierce competition on the WNBA court is expected, the level of hate Clark is experiencing feels disproportionate. It's unusual for a player who has done so much to popularize the WNBA Indeed, CC is a major reason why the league is enjoying increased attention and why we're even discussing the WNBA with such interest. But whenever someone starts breaking records and drawing comparisons to the legends we've watched shape a sport, there's bound to be some resistance to adding new names to such esteemed ranks. This isn't new, it's a dynamic as old as competitive sports themselves. Okay, take LeBron James for instance. As his career progressed, he entered the conversation about the greatest of all time, surpassing icons like Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird in public opinion, and eventually earning a place alongside Michael Jordan at the table of basketball legends. This kind of ascension can stir up a range of emotions, from admiration to resentment. When a new athlete surpasses the well-known figures from the past, it not only sparks difficult discussions but can also lead to exaggerated backlash. This reaction, while intense, is a natural part of the evolution of sports and the re-evaluation of what greatness means in each new era. 
and Clark is on the same path. But despite these early obstacles in her rookie season, Clark continues to perform impressively, averaging 16.3 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 6.2 assists per game. Her resilience and skill remain clear as she navigates the high expectations of professional basketball. The challenges she's facing are typical for any rookie transitioning from college to the pros. The professional game is quicker, the players are tougher, and the overall competition is more intense. These factors are clearly affecting her, but there's every reason to believe she'll adapt and overcome these initial hurdles. But currently, the draw for fans isn't just about watching a rookie struggle and grow. It's about seeing the same dominance that made Clark a collegiate sensation. Her remarkable ability to sink long-range three-pointers drew crowds and television viewers alike, helping to propel Iowa to a national championship game with a stellar 34-5 season record. Her skill on the court is a big reason why fans previously packed arenas. And if Clark continues on her current trajectory, she might just become the WNBA's answer to Steph Curry. This isn't just about the victories, although those are expected to be numerous. It also means stepping into the spotlight as a figure that attracts both intense admiration and scrutiny from fans and fellow players alike. This situation is part of the package when a player rises to stardom rapidly. As Caitlin navigates this landscape, the attention she draws will likely intensify the debates about her role and impact within the WNBA. It's this very dynamic that explains why some WNBA players might feel bitterness towards her, viewing her as a threat to the status quo or envious of the spotlight she commands. As we continue to watch her career unfold, her journey will not only shape her legacy, but also influence the broader narrative of women's basketball, highlighting why she has become one of the disruptive figures in the sport.